bonus with face, pat, and tiz. at the clock and it looks like it's that time B. Looking at the road it's about that time. Yeah. Yeah. It's about that time, y'all. Ha. It's yeah, about I that mean, time. You know, y'all. We definitely ha. we definitely gone through the good and fucker of that red pill shit. So um yep. It's time for the good and fuckery. Yeah. Good and fuckery. Good and fuckery. Episode 60 yeah. of the Good uh, Info <laughs> on the pod- podcast. Indeed, indeed, and indeed. Well, let me speak. All right, y'all. Uh, mm-hmm. Get right into it. As, get right into it. As we enter Club Tiz. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, as I said earlier, it seems like we've been uh saying it more and more often but uh rest in peace to the great Sidney Portier and uh, another one gone man and America's favorite dad Bob Saget well damn Danny Tanner yeah. I ain't know yeah. about Bob Saget one but the Sidney Portier I have seen but damn Bob yeah damn, Yo, right? I, I didn't know I didn't know Bob Saget he grew up in Norfolk a word. Yeah, that just somebody just brought it up. I was like, oh shoot, because everything I seen about it was Philly, and then they had this ad, uh, they had this uh article. I think it was like Wavy 10. That's a news channel around here. Said that he grew up most of his childhood in Norfolk or whatever. So no, that's fine, yeah, rest in peace, Sid Portier and Bob Saget. Get that out the way. Right. Indeed. Man. Um Another, well, um, another right from the back of the dead, Aaliyah is uh, dropping a post. Hum- I can never say this word. Is it post humilis? Negative part. In my. That you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you, you want, you, you could do so much, you could do anything. Plus, post you must. Posthumous. Posthumous. <laughs> well, she, they're dropping a Leah album called Unstoppable. <laughs> It'll be out later on this month, and it has features with Drake and Snoop Dogg. So, putting that out there, I saw it. I'm down for an Aaliyah hit. I'm, I'm with it. I'm down with it for sure. Yep. Yep. Aaliyah is always one in a million. So, yeah. Um, Next on the list, uh, Maya Angelou becomes the first black woman to appear on the U.S. quarter as the Treasury begins distribution. <laughs> so, everyone, I would like to say congratulations uh, to Maya Angelou in this tribute because that's one hell of a tribute. But <laughs> as Black Salute Black you. History Month is approaching, we're going to start seeing the panda. Be vigilant. <laughs> and y'all paying like Dorothy Dandridge or some or, or some. No, do we got to keep getting these? Like the, the we gave y'all the quarter. Can we get the least? Can we stop getting the least aesthetically pleasing of our black queen legends on these coins where where their faces are going to be memorialized? Like, okay. I mean, it just, it really is like a, um, we, got some, like, pretty, look- we got some pretty legends too. And I know that that is like ugliest or whatever it is, but I'm like, damn, yo, like, like I'm looking at like a thousand years down the road, man. People gonna be like, who are these niggas? I mean, when you look at it, it's, it's wow, a real, it's, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's not like it, it's her, it's her oh, face. It's like man. her. It's like her young her doing the Randy Orton pose with a like a eagle behind her and it says Maya Angelou. Hey, yo, on the yo, 
<laughs> I'm sorry, yo. I ain't even mad at the job, but we gotta go, yo. I'm gonna get in trouble, yo. I, I'm, I, I can't speak. Face, <laughs> back to you, face. Would <laughs> <laughs> you about to say face? Oh, I ain't gonna touch that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, by Angelou is on the quarter. All right. Um, Will Ooh, Smith like wins Best Actor at the 2022. Golden Glows for his acclaimed portrayal of Venus and Serena Williams' father in King Richard. I still ain't seen it. I ain't seen it yet, but uh, from what I've seen, it's I heard pretty it's well. Just, I just haven't seen it yet, man. I got I to gotta catch up. Hmm. Put that on my dock. Yeah, I'm going to eventually see it. When I get in the mood of watching, like, historical documentary type, like, stuff or whatever. But, you know, he got a history of that, man. He was, like, King Richard. He was Ali. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, he's, he's, he's got something under his belt. He was the dude from um, Pursuit of Happiness. True. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he, he's got a good... Good run of those type of uh movies, yeah, pretty much. Got one of the best resumes in, in cinema, man. Like he he got some he got some shit under his belt there, bro. Like a baby Denzel. <laughs> he been looking for a long ass time, man. Be real, man. His his overall catalog might be deeper than than Denzel's. I I would have to like count them up. He got a lot of he got, like, more he got a lot of shit, yo. A lot. Some unheard of shit too that ain't that popular, but he's still in it. Yeah, yep. yeah. Even them Netflix originals and shit, like Bright and shit. Like he, he. I like. Them. He's been more active than Denzel. Like Denzel, one of them dudes. Like I might, he might come out like once every three, four years. But when he do come out, it be some his performance. It's some shit. Amazing. But I think I think like, Denzel come out for everything. Like Will is more like open to like try a bunch of different shit. They're more like, if it don't speak to his artistic sensibilities, man, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you know, how to say, um, Will's a bit younger and Denzel's probably going down and like slow, slowing down as far as acting in general and whatever. So, you know, I put it at that, but Man, you know, it, if you really look at it, Will Smith may have a little bit more range because I ain't never seen Denzel in a, like a, as many sci-fi flicks as, as Will Smith. So it is true. Mm-hmm. But uh, matter of fact, uh, next on the list or whatever. Mm-hmm. Now, before we really officially started, we had this uh, conversation about ownership and everything, and. Uh, why Will Smith, I mean, not Will, but uh, Lil Wayne should have uh, um, copyrighted the, the well, trademark the word bling. Yes. Yeah. Um, and yes. this next, <laughs> this next uh, subject this is going to be, seem like completely left field to why I bring that up, but I explain why. Um, it's up now, uh, the vote for the second annual X-Men election. They had an X-Men election last year where people actually put in their votes of who they would want on the X-Men team for the next span of X-Men comics for that year. So you can actually vote on whatever X-Men you want to see in action, pretty much. The only thing is, is they had their particular mutants that they put in there. pretty much so this x-men election is uh the mutants they have is the japanese mutant armor she has the power like to have like this psionic armor that she can make out of the blue make it look like whatever else avalanche he's actually an old villain that can create earthquakes pretty much um firestar which is like she's an old character she was like in one of the old spider-man cartoons back in the day with Iceman and stuff like that or whatever so they're trying to bring her back out um this wakandan mutant named gentle or whatever but he's pretty much like a hulk with vibe 
like vibranium tattoos or whatever. Mm. Um, That's Gorgon, one. yeah, Gorgon, which is my personal favorite because he um, he actually was whooping ass in what they call the uh, let's see the X of Swords event where they were in a tournament and uh, this guy that could basically control a bunch of dead warriors or whatever was coming at him and he was just basically fighting all of them at once turning them into stone or whatever pretty much uh and yeah that scene right there just made me want, i i want to see a samurai dude with this sword whoop ass <laughs> yeah i want him on the x-men and he was a wolverine villain so i think that would be sweet pretty much um the other ones are macromax uh, this other girl named Penance, she's a black superhero that's like hold on, hold on, hold on. what? Hold on. Hmm? What? The woman that, that you said the name before that was Malcolm X. No, my uh, Micro Max, Micro Max, or whatever. I don't really care about the character. Oh. <laughs> I don't think he's a man, so I'm not even gonna bring him up. <laughs> Malcolm X is a mutant now. Oh shit! He is a mutant. It's Magneto. Let me joke. I'm joking. Yeah. I'm joking. <laughs> um, uh, Siren, that's Banshee's daughter. She basically got the same powers of Banshee where she can scream really loud and break shit. And uh, Japanese, um, is it Japanese? This Japanese uh, mutant name, uh, Surge, and she has powers of electricity. The main reason why I brought up Lil Wayne is because they got a mutant named Bling. Bling bling bling. That's her name. Every time I'm fucking up your city, bling bling. I was making your city turn a gritty bling bling. She possesses a diamond hard body, superhuman strength, and the ability to shoot fire crystal light projectiles at people. Hold on, crystal light? Like she gonna fire? No, crystalline. Like the way they said, crystalline. (laughs) projectiles to them. I'm That's what he said. I'm just so, imagining her shooting question. powder drink like, packets at people. <laughs> question. Okay. Was she in was she the same one that turned into like had a diamond skin in the Wolverine Origins movie when they broke the kid mutants out? No, that's that's a whole that was Emma Frost. That was uh yeah. who they called the White Queen from the Hellfire Club. That's the white lady. Bling is a black girl and um yeah you can't really tell that she's like black because she her mutant power makes her totally look like a crystallized person or whatever oh. if you look so yeah that's the reason why Lil Wayne on some ice or some shit Lil Wayne you should have trademarked that jump man it didn't get to the point where they're making mutants yeah you get, <laughs> get that Marvel mutant money buddy off that boy. yeah basically you wouldn't have had the Superman or nothing. You would have been straight, King. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, but, yeah. My bad. My bad. What is it? No, I'm just doing glasses, man. I took to them off the first time. Sorry. True. Oh, man. Boy, hush up. With your old ass. He's the same damn age, nigga. Shut up. Nigga, we are not. And we can't even eight. say that in number only, but for another eight days. It will in number only eight eight days. days. At eight days coming soon. A week and a day, your ass going to be back older than me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never forget to the grandma. Speaking, speaking of old. <laughs> segue right into it. So well, my sister gave me tonight, but you haven't been hilarious. <laughs> my sister gave me this article. Uh, UK scientists unearthed a 32 foot sea dragon with a skull that weighs more than a ton. Oh yes, sir. UK scientists have unearthed the remains of a monumental 180 million old. Hey, I'm not going to pronounce this one. Yeah. <laughs> it could thaw your soul. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's the soul. T-H-Y-O-S-A-U-R. Known as a sea dragon. 
I still love them shit. This guy knows a lot about dinosaurs, man. My son is different. Like he be telling me names. I be like, "What the hell is that?" And he told me the picture. And be like, "It's this guy. It's this." Oh yeah, he he he's like he's fixated on dinosaurs. He's asked for dinosaurs. This is every year he's been alive. That's the actual formal word. That's how that's how I be knowing all the dinosaurs. He teaches me every day. But this one, the name this that, I be like, "Oh, really?" Yeah. Hey, so hey, well, everybody got they they thing they nerd over. I just talked about the freaking Marvel universe for the fifth thousandth time on this podcast. So hey, yeah, we actually just finished reading a book about prehistoric sea uh, creatures of all uh, kinds. So this was one of them. So that's the reason I remember. I remember. Yo, sea creatures scary as fuck. Yo, I can't wait about to say. Yeah. Them things are scary. I don't never. Well, first of all, you can't go to that part of the like deep. Us as humans wouldn't be able to get that far deep into the ocean about the sea animals and sea monsters that we that I'm talking about or whatever. Like where our bodies would explode from the pressure, pretty much. But we the simple fact they can live down there in that pressure, if they could ever come up here, man. But I don't know. It might be a reverse effect. They might need that pressure, and if if they go into like a less pressurized area. What would that? What would be the result of that? Either oh, their, they their, like, bodies, their bodies would be like blobs. A lot of those fish that live down that that deep, they have them like their bodies are made of like mostly fat and shit. It's like able to be molded by the pressure. Oh, true. Yeah, because it's. Uh, I want to say what is it? Uh, is it the blue whale or? Like that. It's it's some animal that I just finished reading about with my son, um. But it's like it was talking about that, like because it lives so deep, it has like the body is like blobish. So like if it comes out of the water or comes up higher in the water, it it loses its shape. So it stay it has to kind of stay in that certain depth. And a lot oh, of okay. like that, yeah. yeah. Make sure you stay your ass in the dark. Have you ever seen a blobfish? Yeah, those things are weird but looking. That's how they look out of the water. If you see one at their natural depth, they don't look like that. Like their bodies have a different shape. It, they look like that when they take out the water because of the loss of pressure. So like that's an example of like mm -hmm. one of those things. Yeah. The things I learned from my son. Six-year-olds are amazing, y'all. Mm -hmm. I mean, the shoot, learning from your son, that's cool. That's cool. Whatever. Uh, Y'all make sure you you bloodfish stay right in the water. So we're coming out here causing problems. Well, you can have it to your or stay in the pre-door agency. I don't need none of y'all coming up. Stay your ass down there. You be a stain under my foot, God dang it. Only shit I'm angler. Them angler, angler fish. Crab leg. Them angler fish with the light on the front of them, man. You keep oh, no. your ugly ass right down there. I'm good on that. The puffer fish. I'm good on all them shit that can hurt me. I'm good. I don't need no bear. Mm -hmm. Piranha. None of that shit. Sharks, no rays. I'm none none of them evil monster looking fish. You know who I'm cool with? I can rock with a starfish. Fuck starfish. That you ain't never heard about no starfish attack. Shit. Yeah, because they probably didn't live to report that shit. I don't even think Patrick I'll attacked anybody. Let me be a old ass survivor. If you're going to get me, take me on out. <laughs> Yeah, don't have me limping around here all hobbled up. Just go ahead and get me. <laughs> you, you win, nigga. Send the cane to your crib. You right. You right. Send you back as an example, nigga. Nah, I don't want to finish the job. Go back and oh, tell you fool. Nigga, take the salt out the sea, season me, and go ahead and <laughs> fuck that. Smoke. None of them. No, don't nigga, I don't, I don't even really eat humans for real, nigga. I don't <laughs> even really eat. I don't want to feed no leftovers. No, fuck that. <laughs> that shit hurt. <laughs> I, eat, I eat, nigga, eat seaweed and shit. I just need to teach you a lesson, nigga. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, don't want to be no vegetarian first meal down there. I'm afraid. <laughs> nigga, I don't even fucking eat human, nigga. <laughs> you know I don't need you bite me and throwing me back up. I don't need to <laughs> Yeah. Oh, y'all niggas, y'all niggas catch us and throw us back in this bitch all the goddamn time, won't you? I just caught your ass and I'm throwing you back up there. 
we we hold <laughs> in your lip from the hook. You catch me, you put a big ass chunk of my body out. Now I can't live when you let me go. I'm sitting there with half a spleen, no, no right back, never gone. Shit in the bag. No, I'm good. Go ahead, just eat my whole body. Just follow me whole. Let me get caught by something big enough to just oh, you gone. Jonah, my this Jonah, my shit. I'm, I'm oh, shit. Eat, eat, eat. Eat me like for nigga. Just follow me whole. Let me get gone. I'm crazy. <laughs> All gone. So yeah, oh, crazy. definitely not stepping in nobody else's homes that we don't want to be in. Pretty much. One home that I'm glad they actually stepped in, though, um, and uh, here in uh, Chesapeake, a man was arrested for after finding explosives and child pornography found in the home on Sparrow Road. So I'm kind of glad they stepped in that person's hole. That's around the corner from your spot, ain't eh? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm right in Chesapeake. Yep. Are you over there with the pedophile bomber? Yeah. According and to a federal a investigation piece. search, warrant information, 48-year-old uh, Kim Joseph Habit hmm. uh, of Chesapeake was charged with knowingly shipping and transporting and receiving any explosive without having a license or permit and possessing child pornography. Hmm. Why you, that's such a weird combination. Yes, that is. So yes. like what 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 was your plan with that exactly? Like what what were you doing with that? Because now I'm curious as fuck. Because that don't go together. It doesn't. So you See, this my you, thing. you a diddler and you got and you gonna See, blow this my thing. We it's, won't it's, know. We can't know if they go together because we in we we not in that lifestyle. They true. they actually go together in they world. Yo, they said, yo, they said the dude had booby traps and stuff and took three safes out of the house. They took three safes out of the house from what he could tell, yo. Like this dude had his whole house lit up. <laughs> so he was like a, a doomsday prepper diddler. Like I feel like he was probably how I put it this way. Um, I think maybe the child pornography was just some sick part of him and his whole personality, but he was already in the business of selling and trading off explosives. He Yo, just happens to be a sick motherfucker that's doing that business. He looked crazy as shit, too. And, and, yes. this, is probably, and this is probably the trip shit. The niggas he sell bombs to Go find out by his his um child shit. I'm like this fucking weirdo, right? This nigga's weird. We can't do business with this nigga. How dare you? Oh, no, no, <laughs> but, no. but but this is. But this I've seen this picture. I, I can't really. It's like really blurry. As don't worry. As, uh, don't worry. When we when I drop the video, but, you, but I know you're gonna chop the video. Hold that shit up on him. Yeah, because he looked this, he uh, looked like shit. he would have child pornography and uh, explosive. Now his that I see everything sense about that story. <laughs> his child pornography oh, ring probably looking at him like you deal explosives oh my god we can't fuck with you so you live in a double life or in that lifestyle they got to go together so you want one of the other motherfuckers either both sides gonna turn against you or they actually go together I don't know because I ain't in either one of them indeed on that indeed your on next that. move is a conundrum there you go indeed on that yeah. so yeah, uh, be vigilant, people, man. There's widows wherever you at, man. Right, you never know, man. It could be right in your city, the Sparrow Road, ain't right that there close. in your damn city. You wouldn't even Doing know crazy. it. You ain't even know it. You ain't even know it. So, I'm gonna say, uh, I was gonna end the good and fuckery off on some transition to some city boy shit with my boy Drake. <clears throat> Here we go. This is hilarious. An uh, Instagram model is ready to sue after Drake allegedly put hot sauce in a condom. There you go, Drake. Um, 
let's let me get let let me explain more and delve into the story a little bit more <laughs> so uh according to too much hot tea on instagram <laughs> uh, allegedly drake and his ig model allegedly met up on instagram i can believe that because it's been proof of him popping up in some people's dms matter of fact he just told somebody to stop smoking online so he was, and that dude was like man fuck you <laughs> that's some shit <laughs> that's some shit but um the model and drake had a romantic encounter and what happened next was was well crazy after the party they went back to the hotel to smoke uh had relations and whatnot and she said it was uh very intent on ensuring things were consensual uh they 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 they're going a little bit too much into what what happened or whatever because i really don't care what they did during sex but he said afterwards he went to the bathroom and uh came and came out with the uh no I'm, let me skip over that i'm going over that but all right he said he went to the bathroom <laughs> and when he finished he tied it up and put hot sauce in the condom or whatever she she got the condom and put it in the vagina because she was trying to get you know the sperm and then you know make her make drake the baby mm -hmm. daddy and mm -hmm. she said it felt like pouring hot lava in a in a coke milk <laughs> she screamed. Sure, yeah. But she's sure, trying yeah. to do. But trying she's to trying to do. This, mm. this boy Drake, <laughs> this drug boy Drake is real tactical, man. Like Kanye was not <laughs> playing when he said it. So she put a hot sauce on Drake her. Drake is <laughs> Yeah, she tried to get, she, 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 went dig for the condom so she can <laughs> try to get herself can be the next big, big yeah. and then yeah. and, and then doing that <laughs> she put hot sauce on her taco baby let me, let me ask the audience, <laughs> man uh i don't mean to get nasty so i'm gonna try to use terms that don't go to fall on the disgusting scale no what color no filters. so for lactic what like what color is this rubber that That's what I, you don't see this orange ass shit in there? Like, cause hot sauce got that distinct ass color. Like, I don't care what it touch. Once it touch it, that shit is orange. I don't care what it is. Like your fingers, the food, whatever is orange. So I'm like, how did you not see this orange shit in there? You thought that was normal? Even if it's like on hot sauce, you saw the orange shit and was like, I'm gonna do that with that. Maybe it was a black condom. You know about your your private areas or not, like be like, I, I love myself. Let me not just throw anything in there. Could have been a black condom, you never know. That is all she knew. Crazy yo. All she, all she knew was this is my chance. <laughs> this is my chance of a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Your chance of a lifetime, my the burn paralyze you yourself. He set your ass up for success and you achieved it. Yo, A plus performance, man. <laughs> A plus performance. A plus, A plus, plus for Drake, man. A dollar Tabasco. My God. <laughs> Drake hit that shit. I'm into the stage. Texas Pete. How Texas hot in the Damn, yo. How much you want to work through? That's going to be his next track. How much you want to? Make His next it? track will be called Hot Sauce Halloween now. You know. Oh uh, well, now um, you got uh, too much sauce. Hey, y'all got a whole new track, so. too much. <laughs> too much sauce. Hey, man, man, man. got too much sauce. Hey, <laughs> I'm burning up. I got some fire in my coochie. I'm burning up. <laughs> Baby, you should hurry up. <laughs> Bring some milk in her. Find her in a hotel and she really got that ass. So 
she tried to get my kids and now she smell like Tabasco. Boy, you tried to <laughs> put them syllables in there, didn't you, boy? Them syllables were stumbling yeah. out. I just yeah, imagine yeah. the words just like running past, like running through like a doorway that's too tight and like a stamp. That's just like those words were coming out like people was running into the Astro World concert. <laughs> get out of the way. Ah. I'm going to get out here. You're going to fit this syllable in there. What y'all say? Fast forward. I belong here. Make room. My bottom lip big sometimes when I uh, <laughs> be flapping and whatnot. Hey, what the words be really true. invisible and we can't see them, but that's really how they come out. They be jumping off my lip and sometimes they trip up and that's what makes you like fumble over words like them bitches be in there. Boing, boing, blah, blah, oh God. They're like, God damn it, yeah, Cal, you fucked us up again, song. got us embarrassed out here. Every time, <laughs> I wish you would just stop saying him. Tabasco. 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 I'm joking. I'm joking. Found it out. Oh, man. Oh, man. But yeah, that was the end of the fuckery. Uh, Tabasco cheeks. Um, <laughs> trying to bask in that Tabasco glory. Tabasco look. Good fuckery. Oh, For the moral of the day, kid, don't put hot sauce in your pussy. Put hot sauce on my burrito, baby. <laughs> Pause. No, you look good to me. Hot sauce on my burrito, baby. No, you look good to me. Rest in peace to the Willow Spoon. That remind me, that remind me of that scene, uh, Nutty Professor, where he had the mariachi band. Stop it, my beef in your taco. <laughs> beef in your taco right now. You know yeah, my <laughs> and that taco. <laughs> you know what my favorite line of any Nutty Professor movie is, and it's so it's not even like the punchline or anything. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes. No, it's mine. I love that so much, but it just makes me happy to see that nigga going. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. It's a part of that movie that's not even funny. I mean, it's funny, but it's not really that funny or whatever. But I just get weak every single time. But when the um, with the uncle. When they like arguing in the um in the restaurant and he just uh yells back, can I get a toothpick? A can we get a toothpick? I don't want to hear about no asses and trumpets while we some toothpick. Nasty. Toothpick. That. Oh, he low key is the funniest characters in there, but he only got the simplest part. But it's hilarious, yo! Like every single time, man, I get weak every time I see him do it because I can just see somebody ignorant. In the restaurant doing that shit anyway. And that's everybody's uncle sitting up there <clears throat> arguing with the kids. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Fat would go call the kids fat. They're over there just eating all the ice cream out of the <laughs> eating all the goober. All y'all fluffy, but grandma. Oh y'all. Look at you. So fat you're sweating yogurt with that. Ugh. Oh, thick sweat. Skin be all sticky and shit. Oh, nigga. that's disgusting. I ain't a fan of them feeling the regular sweat on me. But oh, I just, just put a horrible mental mental display. Oh. Oh. Oh, Can't well, be worse than that mental display that Basil talked about earlier. Yeah. Ugh. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And that ends the good and fuckery, man. Some nasty shit. All right, yeah. <laughs>